Hello everybody, Pyrocheck here, and today I'm playing a uh, Fire Emblem on my uh, cell phone. Um, I was told about this app that you can get on your phone to let you record. As you can see, it's, you might see on the right side of the screen. So I will be playing the first Fire Emblem through and through, no matter what. Um, so yeah. Um, I played the Fire Emblem games before, um, yeah, that's not my real name, I just had to put something there. Um, so, I love the Fire Emblem series, I, the first one I ever played was Awakening, then I went back to the older ones a bit, so the oldest ones I played were the Game Boy Advance ones. This is the first one I played out of the old ones. And, I beat Lin's story? Yeah, Lin's, which is this... My, what is this, what is this lady? Um, there's really no need for me to talk for, I don't do uh, voices very well, so, yeah. And I will never do the webcam thing on this app, because the webcam is like to my left, on my phone. So I wouldn't be able to like hold my phone, move my hand around without my thumb going more. So, yeah, we are going to do, read everything that is story based, we we'll play all that, but anything else, no. So like tutorials, we will not be doing, but I remember the tutorials, there's like just characters talking to characters we're going to be playing on. Okay everybody? Cool. Um, So, with every Fire Emblem game, your main character, like you yourself, is a tactician. So, in the older games, before Awakening, they would never fight head-on. Like, see that green guy? That's me. That's your tactician. But, so, he's an ally, so he cannot fight. But it's always weird how she, he, like, goes into her. Okay, so you don't need that. I was just trying to tell me how to play. So it's like press A, then you can then all the blue squares is what you can do. Um Yeah. This is really all it is. Then it's like enemy phase. everything real quickly. Um, attack is basically how much she's going to do. Critical is, I guess, her chance of it. They never really went into this. But, um, the arrows? Here's the weapon triangle. Sword beats axe, axe beats spear, spear beats sword. You can tell why. It's because sword is faster than the axe, the axe is stronger and wider than the spear, and the spear is a longer reach than the sword. So these are your stats. Damage is going to be 7. So she'll do 7 damage per hit. That's if they land, but of course in this tutorial, they'll make it that every single attack lands on them. So we're going to do the entire tutorial fight. Um, and that'll be the end of the first episode. And every single episode is going to be like one or two battles. I'll see how this goes for the whole um, series. Um, but I will be playing the first, and I will be getting the Sacred Stones on my phone. It's because I, uh, have the My Boy free up. Um, but yeah, you want to be very careful of your items, because in this game, permadeath is in place. So, like, let's say you have a Bandit class character. He, um, yeah, screw it Um, so, like, what happened was... Is that if your ally, like let's say this guy was one of our allies, if he dies and he's not important to like the plot, he would just go off and die. He would just be dead. Bata the Beast. That's a terrible name. As you can see, I'm about to die. Of course, that is just normal because the game just wants everything to be good for the uh, tutorial phase. So. Oh yeah, and if you're on like those uh, siege areas, um, you have 
the ability to now heal a little bit every single turn, but there's the critical strike. That's how you can tell where things do. that's how you can tell critical is gonna happen. Um I would love to do voice, but I just don't want to do voice for all characters, so that's why I'm not doing it. And when they level up, the stats go up. So she had 16 HP, 5 strength, 8 skill, 10 speed, and 6 luck, but they all went up by 1. Um, so that's a good thing. Okay, so... Now then, so... The story is basically going to be a very good plot point in this experience. Now you have to seize the gate. You siege? There you go. Um, I guess... I guess squeeze in, like, the next fight. Um... I guess the first episode will be just two fights. Um... She's gonna go on an adventure, basically. Um, only she has her parents for her son. Died six months ago. Yeah, pretty sad. Um, so I will fit the first two in the entire game. There's like multiple classes. Like you have the uh, Pegasus Knights, you have the Cavalry, you have the Lord class, which is what she is. And if she dies, the game's over. And have any of you guys played Fire Emblem Awakening, which I bet everyone has right now? Um, then, well, that's normal. So, because if Krom or your character died, fight ends. Because they're both essential to the story, so if she dies, story's over, you failed. I don't know, can I go through, but this is like a really long thing of dialogue. And if it was all on audio, it would be kind of nice. But this is the Game Boy, obviously. So I don't know how this is going to look on a computer. I really hope it looks good. Do any instructions on the on or off by pressing flip? I'm going to keep them on just in case there's anything I don't remember. I did like um, a test play a while back. Um. The apprentice technician. Yeah, so we're off on our journey. Bulgar, the commercial central of the town. Oh, here we go. We're gonna meet more characters, so. Let's go. Yeah, this is pretty comedic. Um. Yeah, so this is kind of an odd. Cast the characters. They're actually pretty much all good characters. Yeah, you see, this guy is well. Yeah, uh, what's your name again? I don't even remember. And loot with loose tongues. I love this character. I love these people. And then they teach you the whole weapon triangle, which there's really same, yeah. Kent. Yeah, so. We will be going through the entire first two battles, which is a lot of dialogue. So a lot of this is a lot of dialogue. Yeah, this is the funny part. Um, I'll be having to use this a while for my uh, schedule. For my, uh, I don't have a schedule of my courses, of my uh, classes. Um, yeah, so they're starting to reveal. Yeah, they're starting to reveal who she is slowly but surely. Yep, yeah, new enemy. Because, like, every single chapter ends with, um. So.
is either defeat a main enemy or def or get to a certain location. So like this guy here, we have to kill him because you'll tell when he's a target is that he has the um, shield on him. Okay, so now they're going to become our companions for, well, I'm just going to tell you this. I played this before, obviously, like I said. So she will be having these two as a companion throughout the rest of the game, or should I say her story. Yeah, you see, everyone's pointing to us for advice. <laughs> See, they got the shield, that's your target, in the entire game. So now they want you to attack first, and blue is your team, red is your enemies. Um... Yeah, so... Well, uh, here we go, up and triangle teaching. Terrible. Bam! That's some damage there, dude. So, yeah. And then he's like the jerk guy, you're hopeless. <laughs> yeah. So, there's a little about the weapons. Because all weapons have a. Um, all have a very specific type of dirt. Well, there's like specific ways to defeat them, specific ways to win. You just throw from my attack, then you can go obviously here, there's your selection. So see, this will have more attack, but I have less hit. And also, this is better, because of the triangle. There you go, you see what I mean? Now, not always we go to attack twice. Sometimes it will tell you, sometimes it won't. Oh, so now Lynn is supposed to do the final blow. And of course, since her speed is good, she can attack twice. Now, there's going to be a little trick with that terrain there. Um, I'll explain that a little bit later. So, we're going to get on with this. Now, one dance. I'm gonna get him right alongside him. I'm gonna get the iron sword out. We're gonna attack him. Oh, here comes the terrain teacher. So I guess I'll tell you about this now. Um, how the terrain works is that. Well, actually, let him explain it. Yeah, see, um, woods and plains. If you fight in the woods, you're most like your enemy's gonna most likely miss you if you if you yourself are in the woods. So we're gonna attack in the foliage. As you can see, we're both in foliage. So either way, we're gonna either miss or attack each other. That's the beauty about this game. So now we're gonna go off into our own foliage in case she gets attacked. They're gonna attack Kent. Obviously, uh, that's like how the AI is programmed. Now, whenever you get attacked yourself, you have a chance to do a counters. Not very, should I say, often. Um, yeah. Cad. <laughs> wow, look how much of a coward he is. I'm gonna take that. And then you get the whole trade command, that's how it works. Like, and your characters. Right beside each other. 
Well, Trey hit one. Uh, yes, 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 I can see. I can't skip these. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Get out of my face. Hold on. Shoot. Now you can use the item right away and just use it. Of course, it would be a waste in later levels. You know? Like, like they said, maximum is unless they attacked. So this should just defeat all enemies. Just defeat everyone. That's all you had to do in this game, just defeat every living person in the game. Just blew every, every living crap out of them. Just beat them to the dead. Like beating a dead horse. So we wait here, the enemy's gonna come for sane. Wow, that's different. Usually they go for uh, Lin at the start of the fight. Usually they go for Lin. So with Lin, I can bring her through bushes, insane, and run into this shrubbery, make him attack. So I will be explaining my tactics to people to you guys throughout the videos because it's just something I have a habit of doing at times. I have a, ha have a habit of talking to myself. So, we will gain more members. Don't worry, we're gonna gain more than just a total of three fighters. You get archers, you get dancers. The dancers can let a teammate move again. That's the beauty of this game. Miss, perfect. Okay, so that's it. My turn's over again. Um, he's gonna hide in the shrubbery, but he's three health away from death. And dead anyway, so. Um, you would want to have all your characters, like, level out. So, like, keep track of their levels at times. Korea. Um, this game, they also introduced the whole idea of, like, um, uh, a class thing. Like a class change or thing. You know what I mean? Like where they could change the class if they mastered it enough. Um, she can die easily from this fight. So if not careful, she will die. Which is why you have the rescue button. It allows you to put yourself in the way. And has them... Take each other, and then I can drop her right beside us. Now, the insane is usually good at um, dodging, so if you let him get the final killing, he will level up. Since I didn't let him get any kills in, I allowed him to level up to level two. Okay, so we're gonna get out of this chapter to the save screen, and then we're done. Ernie, see? So... As you can see here, this is pretty funny. Now these nights of... I'm not reading this stuff. You're gonna read yourself. So, this is basically the game. 
So it's like there's a bunch of dialogue, but that's the point. But I'm just kind of clicking through it because it's all kind of stuff that's kind of generic. But you guys can read it because I wasn't interested in the story, but I've already seen this story, so it's kind of. It's like me kind of trudging through some things at times. Damn guys, I'm sorry I'm going to like skip the rest of this. They just basically team up. See you guys all in the next video.